Hey everyone, so today we have an orange sim on roaming in Atlanta, Georgia, in the USA. And we're gonna be testing this out. So as you see here, right now, it's on 4G LT, roaming on T-Mobile. So this plan does have access to roaming on AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile. The access is a little bit weird, but T-Mobile only gets LTE access on roaming. On AT&T, you get millimeter wave access, you get all access, if I'm not wrong. Same as Verizon. So Verizon, you can get millimeter wave, 5G. So you can connect through 5G through AT&T or Verizon, T-Mobile not. And yeah, as you see here, we have T-Mobile ready. Let's test every carrier. All right, so let's start the speed test. As you see here, it does say band 12 LTE. So, let's see like much is going on. Okay, so the speed test has now started. As you see, this is the speed we're getting. The ping is high because of the routing. I'm not testing it with a carrier server because I just want for people to see what automatically picks and what they're gonna experience directly from whatever you're connected to. So this is an automatic decided server for this, you see here, 328 down, 303 millisecond ping, 36 millisecond jitter, and 11.2 up on the T-Mobile side. And as you see here, it doesn't seem to be roaming or using that much. And just checking in here, as you see here, we're connecting the band 12 and band 4 actually. So as you see here, we're going to have 25, 30 megahertz of spectrum. Okay, so now that we did that, as you see here, okay, let's move on to NPERF. Alrighty, here we have NPERF, so let's start it. you see it automatically pick the Atlanta server for my for my closest server even though I thought it was gonna pick orange I guess not but yeah there's your latency season speed As you see here, we do have uncapped streaming. Even though we're on just LTE, or the plan only allows LTE, we got uncapped streaming, and you'll get full 4K or whatever you're watching at the full uncapped speed. Now that we tested the T-Mobile side of the network on the roaming, we're gonna now try Verizon. I'll be right back with y'all. Alrighty y'all, so now we're on Verizon. Let's test this out. So you see the millimeter wave is right there. Let's see what we can get. 
5G icons on. I think the millimeter wave actually might be capped the 700. But still very good speeds for what it is. I won't complain. So yeah, there you go. Now we're gonna test mperf. And before we start mperf, as you see here, we're running band two and the N261 according to my trusty signal check pro. Here's how much you're getting on nperf. As you see, not much different from speed test, apart from that speed spike it got earlier. What's a quick disconnection? I saw that icon go out for a second. Streaming is on cap on this plan too. Very good streaming performance. Obviously the routing, the browsing percentage is not gonna be as good, but there are your mperf results. Now we're gonna move on to fast.com. Alrighty, let's start fast.com. There you go, those are your speeds. And now we're gonna check real quick the bands that we're connected to. As you see here, we're connected to band two and 261, 100 megahertz and 400 megahertz total, as you see right there. And that's right about it. Let's move on to at and now. Alrighty, we're now connected to at and millimeter wave right there 5g icon there we go all righty let's start this as you see on at and millimeter wave you get the full speed very good The uplink is a little bit weird. It doesn't do this on native, so I'm not sure. But yeah, this is your speed right here on at and millimeter wave, or the 5G axis of roaming. You'll be able to get this anywhere you have at and millimeter wave. And for Verizon, the same thing. If you have N77 and all this other bands, you'll be able to connect to all type of 5G. But yeah, this is for your at and right here. Let's go to Emperf now. Alrighty, so we got Emperf on. Let's speed test this. Insanely good stuff here. 
uplink is very finicky. I'm not sure why. The pings are drastically lower on the millimeter wave of AT&T's also. Oh, starting the rain. <laughs> oh well. Very good streaming rates. As you see streaming is uncapped also on this. Keep switching from LT back and forth, but there's your percentages and your speed. Very good. So now let's switch on to fast.com. Alrighty y'all, now let's switch out to fast.com. There's your streaming speed. Now let's check the bands and we'll end the video from there. So as you see here, we're running band 210 megahertz and 260 100 megahertz, or actually 800 megahertz of N260, which means um, 810 megahertz of spectrum right there. And yeah, that seems about it. It's a quick thing before I actually end the video here. Um, it does seem like the N77 or any band you're connected to on the orange sim on Verizon is completely capped at 700 max. Because I was just connected to C band actually since the tower's like right over there. Just to test it out. And it turns out that I can't go past 700. And yeah, that's the quick update for y'all. And thanks for watching.